Welcome to Rasher Wagon. We are back with some more railroads online. I've gone ahead and bought the Eureka. We've got her all filled up with water and ready to run. We've given her a name, the Mistress. Uh, that's a name that the Mrs. decided would be best for this old train here. Just like in last episode, we're trying to save up money to get the, the last couple of cars that we need to give us a total of 10 of the tier one flat cars. That shouldn't be an issue, so I'm also thinking that our next goal uh, should be 10 of the Tier 2 flat cars. Uh, that way we can start hauling some lumber and, and uh, start working on getting our next train set up that we want, including engine. And I've just finished connecting her to the flat cars, so that way we can make our run up to the logging camp. I'd like to eventually get a, an engine for each train that we're going to have. So one for the, the sawmill to the logging camp, one for the sawmill going to uh, the iron mine. Um, we're going to have one going from the iron mine to the smelter, connecting different industries with each their own engine and train. I'm going to toss some wood in this fire and we'll get going. Uh, just like in the previous video, I'm going to go ahead and do another time lapse with some music to to kill the time between here and the uh, log camp so I'll check in with you soon just arrived at the log camp uh, so I'm gonna get this thing started loading I'm thinking since we're starting to get so many cars added to it that we're gonna have to lay out some markers I already laid out some temporary ones on the other side uh, leaving the camp uh, but I'm actually thinking every two cars we should put down a marker to help line it up instead of pull forward jump off check to see if it's aligned with the crane and then get back in and make your adjustments this way we can mark it out one time take the time making the adjustments and then in the future it'll make these logging runs go a lot smoother a lot quicker but thinking about the different kind of engines that we can pick up as a possibility and i'm thinking that the glenbrook is going to be the next one heard in this last little update that they tweaked the speed of the glenbrook but the glenbrook also has a lot of customizations to it which i think is going to be perfect for the engine that we're going to use for making our run from the sawmill to the iron mine. Possibly use it other places, but definitely an engine that I think is within our price range and we'll save it for after we get the tier two flat cars.
And we're back at the freight depot. I went ahead and bought the last two of the tier one flat cars that we're gonna need to give us the 10 total. I did go ahead and get rid of the first flat car that we start with just because it didn't have the numbers and it didn't match. And I know it's a little thing, but I just wanted all my cars to have numbers. And so I'm going ahead and back up. We're gonna hook up to that for the next episode. Uh, but in this episode, we did get the, the 10 flat cars that we wanted. We laid out some markers up at the log camp for easier loading in the future. Next episode, we could probably get the next 10 of the tier 2 flat cars. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. So I want to thank you for joining me here playing some Railroads Online. I hope to see you next time and thank you for watching.